Hey guys, it's Sheridan, and today we're doing a review of the Nerf Swarm Fire from the newer Yellow Dart Tag series. So the Swarm Fire was released in 2011 and is the flagship of the Yellow Dart Tag series. The Swarm Fire is a fully automatic blaster and it has a capacity of 20 darts on this front rotating turret here. And those darts, I might add, are the Tagger darts with the blue and white tip. The Swarm Fire is able to fire about 3 darts a second, and it doesn't use flywheels like most modern fully automatic blasters. It uses a kind of a automatic plunger system, and to power that it needs 6 C batteries, which you put in under here, and that makes it quite heavy. Like all of the yellow dart tag blasters, there's no tactical rail, and this one doesn't even have a sling attachment point. But you can remove the stock, like that. So it's still pretty tactical. There's also this on off switch up here so you can choose whether you want it on or off. Alright, now we're going to do a range test. Hey guys, it's Tom and we're here to range test the dart tag swarm fire. So first, we're starting off with flat shots with its normal blue and white tip taggers. Okay, let's go. Okay, now angled shots. Okay, now let's go check the ranges. So our first two shots are at 36 and a half and 37 feet. Next one at about 38 feet. Next, 39. Then a 40 foot one. And then uh, two around 43 feet. Now 46 feet. And then our last two at about 47 and 48 feet. Okay, now we're doing flat shots with elite darts. Let's go. Okay, now angled shots. Okay, now let's go check the ranges. Okay, so our first shot here is at about 31 and a half feet. Next two at 33 feet. Next two at 35 feet. One at 38 and a half feet, one at 38 feet. Then a few right up here, one of them is at 48 feet, and the last two are at about 53 feet. Okay, now for the conclusion of the blaster. So overall, the Swarm Fire is a really fun blaster to use because it shoots pretty fast. The ranges aren't as good as Elite Blasters, but they're pretty average for a full auto blaster. This is the orange trigger version of the Swarm Fire. But there's also a blue trigger version, which features improved internals, so it shoots a lot further, but the rate of fire is still the same. If you find either of these at a thrift store, you should definitely pick one up because they're a lot of fun to use, and if you're lucky enough to find a blue trigger version, they still shoot pretty far compared to Elite Blasters. So, yeah, they're just a really good blaster in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.